<laughs> yeah, right. Everybody can stick all these badges on the cars, you know, on the hoods and stuff. I mean, is this decal or something? Oh my god! Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Yanko Camaro is in the house. I am so pumped about working on this vehicle. I saw this vehicle, I think in December last year, and literally it was on a showroom floor at Walker Chevrolet in Franklin, Tennessee. And I was like, guys, I really hope that somebody is gonna sell the ceramic coating that I can install. So this, this, this car is gonna be at the shop. And guess what? It's here, it's here now. We're not allowed to drive it which is cool, you know, we respect everybody. It has 51 miles on it, so it probably has never seen a track, or never seen really a road, never seen a rough driving. However, this thing is powerful. This thing is 1,050 horsepower. Can you imagine 1,050 horsepower? When I saw that badge on the hood, I was like, there's no way this, this, this thing is so powerful. But it is, it's 6.8 uh, liters, uh, whatever engine, it's custom built by Yenko. It's, it's seven out of 50 ever made. I don't know all the stats about it, but guess what? It's here, and I want to quickly show you how it looks, how it looks from inside, how it looks from outside, how it sounds like. Just be part of it. The 2021 Stage 2 Yenko Camaro is a very special pedigree of muscle car. Its custom blueprint LT1 pushes out 1,050 horsepower and 900 foot pound of torque with a six speed manual transmission. To balance the power of the Yanko, it is equipped with magnetic suspension, stronger stabilizers, a 1 LE splitter, and Recaro seats for driver comfort. With only 50 made, it's definitely a gem to be buffed for. So guys, quickly I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I like about this car and a couple of things I don't like about this car. All right, let's start with things that I don't like about this car, okay? And let's keep that hood closed. Things that I don't like about this car. This car's price, $127,000. Holy mackerel. You can buy 17 houses in certain states for that money. And it looks like a Camaro. You know why? Because it is a Camaro. Like if I would build a custom, super powerful, stupid car, I think I would add a couple of deeper touches, maybe a stupid wing, I don't know, a stupid facelift. But this car looks almost like a sleeper. Every Camaro is a sports car. So, you know, the new Camaros look cool and look sporty. How does this thing stand out? So if you're not a Camaro expert, you know, or Yanko expert, from a couple of cars away, it looks like a simple Camaro. And think about it, a basic Camaro is what, 30, 40 grand, whatever it is, you know? So yeah, that's one of the things that I don't like about it. Next thing is interior. Again, dropping 130 Gs on a car, I want to feel a little bit more special. It has Recaro seats, it's cool, it doesn't squeak, it doesn't, nothing, nothing's wrong with it, but it still feels like a Camaro. And again, 130 grand or 30 grand basic model, mm, kind of sucks. Things that I like about this car is, let's start with this. God damn. Oh! Look at this pancake of 1,050 horsepower. Wow. 6.8 liter custom built engine signed by two of the engineers or somebody else that I'm actually not 100% aware of. I, I remember their last name and I cannot spell it, so I don't want to make fool myself, so I won't do it. 1,050 horsepower this, this bad boy produces. It has certain settings, you know, it has the ice setting, the, the, the sports, the track and stuff, so that changes the sound of, um, of the exhaust. It also has 900, 900, 
900 foot pounds of torque. Can you even imagine that? 900 foot pounds of torque. This specific model is seventh out of 50 ever made. So guess what? Whoever bought it is a special person. And if I could afford it, I would buy it. It sucks that we can't drive it. We literally draw it in and out and we literally draw it around um, the, the warehouse that we're at just to film the 360. It's beautiful. The paint was in really bad condition because all these custom builds, you know, the guys put a lot of effort in painting it, but they don't finish it off the way they're supposed to. So what we did is we did a two-stage paint correction. We installed the, our platinum package and you can find us at Walker Chevrolet. They offer our services as well. Badass wheels, nice, thick, clear coat on top of the black. We corrected it. This thing looks badass. It's ready to go. But there's only one thing that I also want to show you. Come over here. It's in the trunk. Dear diary, these people take these things seriously. A boost juice. Just from if you know what this is and if you know where to put it, and if you know how it acts, it's like a safer way of NOS, of the NOS, okay? So you know this thing goes, this thing goes. And yeah, maybe one day we're gonna be able to uh, drive it or at least be in a car when someone else drives it, like the owner of it. But yeah, I just wanna say thanks to Walker Chevrolet. I wanna say thanks to the owner of this vehicle that allowed us to do this walk around, a uh, little car view. I wanna, say, I wanna say thank you guys for subscribing it. Thanks for watching it. We're gonna be back with more cool cars, cool car reviews, car detailing tips and tricks. Stay tuned for more, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.